What's going on everyone? My name is Bancroft. Thank you for tuning in. And today we are going over the Set 9 Meta Cooler Leader, which is the reboot leader from Set 2. Like always, there's buttons, links, check them out they're down below. But let's kind of get into it. And before we get into this, yes, I'm reading off a script for this whole video because I wanted to make sure I kind of just got everything that needed to be included into this list. I didn't want to forget anything. Uh, this leader won the poll for about two weeks ago, and man, it was interesting to make a build for it because I wanted to make sure I captured the deck and its archetype the best I could. And that all begins with the field card. When this leader is placed into the leader area, you place up to one big Getty star. Now, there are two options you can go from, either the set 2 or the set 17. Ultimately, I went with the set 2 one because reg regardless, I had to mill one card from my deck to activate them and even though nightmares regeneration uh, would be easier to play infant multiplication meta coolers it's green also i never saw myself using the second activate main on that card at all because i'm using the set two field card this will allow me to turn on mecha freeze and robotic repose very quickly with the addition of the z deck now let's go over the leader uh, the leader plays the field card and that's it in order to awaken you need two or more frieza clan cards in play once awakened, uh, on attack, you place up to three cards on top of your deck and put them into your drop. And then choose up to one meta cooler or meta cooler core in your drop and add it to your hand. Now, before I go any further, I need to state this deck doesn't like to draw cards naturally. So you need to use this auto carefully. If you mill off good cards, that sucks, but you can bring back any cooler that you need to further your place. Activate main, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Now, you do need to have at least two Frieza Clan cards in play. And the activate battle on this card, you choose it's one meta cooler card in your battle area and it gets plus 5k power for the, the turn. Now, this is activate battle, doesn't specify whose turn. So, if your opponent's trying to go into one of your meta cooler cards, you could just, hey, no, 5k boost. If you want to take this card out, you need to put a little bit extra effort into it. Now, both these skills are a once per turn skill. Now let's talk about the meta coolers, and boy, there are a lot of them. For my build, I went with a yellowish green build, more on the yellow side, but you have the options of red, yellow, and or green if you wanted to. Uh, if it multiplication meta cooler itself, you could play as many as you want in this deck, and for a moment, I almost built the meme deck for meta cooler, which is just having 50 of these cards in your deck and calling it a day. But I ended up doing only 10. And this is where the deck gets tricky. The, this card alone is taking up six additional spaces in my deck. So I need to make sure we get to play them or even thin the deck out when needed. So cards like the Medical or Maddening Multiplication, Medical or Core Energy Source, Medical or Core Ultimate Form, Medical or Core The Collective, Medical or Enhanced Menace, and Medical or Newfound Foe are great for that, either playing or thinning out the deck. Now, of course, there are other cards that you can add I just didn't see the point to them. And please prove me wrong in the comments if I'm missing something. Uh, some of these cards are the Infinite Force Medical Core, which, yes, is a boss monster that when it plays or attacks, if Big Getty Star is under this card, you can play up to two Medical cards from your drop. This could be any Medical card with no energy restrictions. And I believe the best choice for this one is Medical or Metallic Genesis, which is a red card. That, when it attacks, you can play up to one Frieza Clan card with an energy cost of two or less with its skills negated. So, from playing one boss monster, you get two more attackers. Then, when that card attacks, you get two more attackers. And then those cards can get you two more in total attackers. So, maybe I should build this one. Um, <laughs> this actually sounds really good. I didn't really see this going into this list originally or when I was building this. But... I can go this route. This does incorporate you playing the Greenfield card instead of the set two one. And just hope you don't get floodgated when you tap out for that effect to play this boss monster. Then there's the Metacooler Multiplying Threat, which is a green card, but it's good turn one play if you wasn't if I wasn't focusing on such a yellow build. Um, so like I said, maybe when I if I go back to this other one, including the the other boss monster, the red one, maybe I'll make this deck and uh Try this route out. We'll see how it works. Now that I've talked about the cards I didn't play, let's go over the other deck, or at least go over the cards in this deck. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, Newfound Foe. A great turn one play because its first activate main is how you get infinite multiplication coolers into your drop, and you get to search top seven cards of your deck for two meta cooler cards, or, sorry, and or meta cooler cores to add to your hand. 
And all you have to do is discard, discard in a meta cooler, which is why I mentioned the infinite multiplication one. You just put that in your discard, boom, search top seven, boom, add two cards to your hand. Now, if this card hits the board, you can boost two of your meta cooler cards by 5k for the turn. This, of course, is an activate main skill. Meta cooler core energy source can play an infinite multiplication meta cooler from your deck in rest mode by either playing this card or when this card is used in a combo. Metacooler Enhanced Menace is normally a charged target for me, and that's because we can negate the energy exhaust by having a Metacooler card in play. But if we were to play this card uh, for two energy, we could also play up to three infant multiplication Metacoolers by searching the top seven cards of the deck. Normally, I could pull two cards, but if your numbers are of infinite multiplication Metacoolers are higher than mine, then you could see you pulling three more often. But those cards are just played in rest mode, which is why I know we just charge this card instead. Metacooler Maddening Multiplication has an auto that can play you the Giant Force Unison, but I'm not running that one. Uh, what we do care about in this card, though, is the Activate Main. If your leader is a Metacooler or Metacooler Core card, place up to two Infant Multiplication Metacoolers from your deck in your drop, then you shuffle your deck. Thinning is always winning in most cases, because like I said, this deck doesn't like to draw, so you want to find other ways to get those cards out of your deck. This goes really well with the Metacore Core Ultimate Form, which unplayed draws you a card, and you can activate a Big Getty Star, but we already got it, so we're not going to worry about this part of the auto. Activate main for two yellow energy, you can either awaken that five life, or better option, which is discard one card from your hand, then play up to two infant multiplication Metacoolers from your drop, just discard one of the infant multiplication cores you want to play. That way you're not losing value on this play. And now for the last card, which is medical or core, the collective. For three energy and four of your infant multiplication medical cores, you can play the eight drop that gives all infant multiplication medical cores blockers. Now, yes, you're playing this card with successor. And as long as you can get, uh, get to eight, you're good. But I mentioned the four infant multiplication medical cores because they're two energy. And as long as you place four or more of your battle cards into the drop with successor, uh, you can play up to four infant multiplication medical cores from your drop and or deck. So two plus two plus two plus two is eight. Boom. But you can also do the four drop, a two drop, two one drops, and another two drop. And you still get that total because it says, I did say four or more. So um, you attack with cards you want to play. Active Successor, attack again, or just keep those cards from blocker. Now we do have one more option in the build to be played with this card's auto, and that card is Medical or Replication Beginning. It has a permit which just it makes this card count as the infinite multiplication medical or in your energy, battle layer, and drop. And so you could play it from the drop, but why? Well, it has an auto burst one. If there are five or more infinite uh, infinite multiplication metacoolers in your energy, battle layer, and or drop. When this card is played, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. There is no energy restriction on that. So if your opponent has a, a problematic card with no barrier, cool. Pay three energy, play the eight drop, play three of the two drops for you, and play one of this guy, pop that problematic card. The last card I want to touch base on before going over the non-archetype cards is Malevolent Revenge. Um, 15k power boost for the leader in any battle. And then you may choose one big Getty star in your battle area, switch it to active mode. If you do choose it to one of your yellow energy, and switch it to active mode. So it's pretty much a free 15k boost, which is always really good. Now for the rest of the build, this came down to figure out what worked best for me. I want good cards and space is already tight. So let's start with the idea of adding a unison. And for this one, it's Android 18 to fit Defender of Heroes. This card will allow you to look at top three cards of your deck and rearrange them in any order you want so that when you're you know milling your cards up by either bursting or using the leader's auto, you're not there's no fear of hitting important cards. Now for good yellow card in general. Like I said, this rest of the deck is just me filling the deck out. I went over what was important of this archetype and what I want to, to accomplish here. And the rest of this is me just putting in good yellow deck that's relevant to meta and hopefully keeps this deck from falling behind when you're trying to push for at least mid-range decks. Um, we have Vegeta's Final Flash. It just blinks battle cards, always good. Mecha Frieza, Robotic Repose. It's a floodgate that can be turned on by, by turn one. Uh, Power of Super Saiyan, there's a reason why it's limited at one. Swift Retaliation Cooler, because it's a cooler deck. Why not incorporate that into the deck itself? We have your classic Frieza Army Reinforcements, which is your Engate Blocker. 
Sid Shinron, Cold Heart, Shadow Dragon. This card is just good. It has everything. Not only does it draw you a card on play, but forces your opponent to have to play around this card. Krillin Moments Before Combat is the super combo I went with in this deck. It probably should be the sparking one instead because you can awaken very quickly this deck. And since you don't go down when you awaken, you're stuck with a high life total. So if you ever start to run low on cards, having this could be helpful. Uh, sorry, having the sparking one can be helpful. And the reason why uh, the fear of milling cards is a thing, because our secret rare we play in this deck is Piccolo and Sun Gohan Newfound Might. After kind of putting this deck together, maybe secret rare isn't the best route for it. And you could theoretically take out this secret rare, put it in a four super combo, switch out the four unisons for other cards, and that way you could just let cards hit the ground or hit your drop and then play around that and you're not worried about getting rid of important cards. But I like the idea of knowing what's going in my drop. That way I can better play my turns around that. Um, for the Z deck, it could really be whatever you want. But for me, it was Oolong Greed is good, which... You're just copying a powerful card's power. 20 times Kaioken, Command Man, Mighty Blast. It, you either use this card to slow your point down by resting a card and getting a 10k boost in one of the battles, or for one yellow energy, it's a 15k boost that negates the negates a battle card or a, uni, a unison ignoring barrier for the turn. SS3 Vegeta, Terrifying Agent of Destruction. It's a dual attack. You KO card. Uh, if that card is in rest mode, it gains crit, and it does ignore a barrier, which is pretty nice. Frieza, just a warm up, helps you awaken because this is by far one of my favorite generic Z battle cards. It is one energy, one Z energy. It's a 15k Frieza. We don't care about the autos because they're not for this deck, but it's a Frieza clan card. So, boom, boom, boom. There you go. You awaken very quickly with this. SSB Sun Goku Evolved Defender. It blinks a card until the end of your opponent's turn. And if in rest mode, when your opponent plays a card, you may place one of your Z energy in its owner's drop. If you do choose one of your opponent's battle cards or unisons, switch it to rest mode and negate its skills for the turn. Put this card on the board, it forces your opponent to play around it again. Making your opponent make extra choices tends to lead you to better results. Now, for a few honorable mentions, because I did show this, uh, this particular deck to a couple of guys at the locals, and I wanted to get their ideas or their takes on it, something that they would possibly add, change, or what they thought of it. And these are some of the cards. And I kind of agree, these could be ones I could put in the side deck to be switched out later. Or like I said, if you want to take out the Android, the Unison package, take out the Secret Rare, switch out for a regular uh, Super Combo, you got four open slots here. Topo Morality uh, Surpass. It's a successor for one green, one yellow. On play, and when it's removed by a skill, you pop a card, green barrier. Angela the Invader, successor for one yellow. It has crit, bond two. It can blink a card until the start of your until the start of my next turn. Recently Evil, it's a free with unison, and it's still pretty good by just they attack you. Go. Cool. Remove all your skills. And it doesn't specify a target, it's just the attacking card. Uh, Bergamo, Furious Roar, because we could tap cards down with skills. This card could tell your opponent to stop playing and just pass the turn. Now that covers my take on the medical or build, and I hope you all enjoyed. Like I mentioned earlier, if there's anything you would change, let me know in the comments. And also, if you made it this far, let me know that you made it to the end. And like always, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, bye.